thought I'm going to hit the record button and say hello, 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 everybody. I am Carol Thompson, as many of you know, and tomorrow is Mary Kay Ash's birthday. Yay! All right, so full confession, I had like no clue that there was a sale. And I, the girl said, well, how about if you share some ideas about how to do a sale for the 13th? And I was like, what sale? So sometimes we just don't read our emails. So it's okay. All right. So if you didn't know, tomorrow is a 13% off sale. Now it does not include the new summer stuff. Thank goodness, because a lot of our girls have already ordered it. I know we've already ordered it. We'd be pretty ripped if it was included and all of a sudden we're not getting this discount. Okay. But it'll be section one and section five products. That's all we know so far. Do we know? I don't know if it's all the products. I don't know if it's just one. Anybody else know? It sounds like everything except for the new summer stuff, but I don't know. So I guess we will find out tomorrow morning. Now, pay attention, first of all, to the time zones. Those of us in Alberta often forget that it is 10 a.m. Eastern, which means it is 8 a.m. here. You guys on the East Coast get a little more time on the end, not on the beginning. You know how that works, right? So um, Lori's saying it is everything. So you got a thing that says it's everything. I was trying to just read it, but it says just not the new summer and not the product of the month. Okay, because that's already a discount, right? So we're good. All right, so how do you do this? How do you market it? Some of you may have already done a sale. It was just double credit. You just did a sale, right? How many of you did? Can you give me a little hands up? Something is bopping at my computer. It's like jumping up and down. You know what it's like? Hey, you're supposed to update me. Um, some of you, I just did a sale. And then I just did a big run for the new um, under eye puffiness reducers. So then I'm going, uh oh, now what? First thing I want you to know, no matter what, no matter what, I don't care when it is, I don't care if it's June 29th and you're like, but I've already sold to everyone. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. You haven't. You haven't, you haven't, you haven't, you haven't, you haven't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you think you have asked everyone to recruit. It doesn't matter if you think you have asked everyone to buy from you. It doesn't matter. There's still somebody else that you forgot about because you think it's everyone, right? Fair. I want you to take a look in the next, you know, 10 hours before this starts and take a look if you did just do a sale, how many people actually ordered from the sale versus how many customers you have in general? Now, if you are not, if you're not on paper, this is way easier because you can just go clickety click and see how many customers you have in general and clickety click, how many people did you have order from the sale? But if you are on paper, that's gonna be a bit more of a job. Make your husband do it, fair, or a kid. Figure out how many people actually ordered. And I would bet you by golly wow, it's about 20% of your overall customer base. Even if it was an awesome sale, even if you think everybody bought everything they could possibly have bought, it's probably only 20%. And so what happens to us is that we get in our heads that, that we've already asked everyone, that they're sick of us, that they've already heard everything, that they've already seen the Facebook post and they haven't even bought. First of all, Facebook is not your only avenue, my God. Facebook didn't even exist 15 years ago. And you still sold then. Because I know there's some pioneers sitting here looking at me that I know sold way before Facebook. And they're the ones that came to me and were like, Carol, how do I sell on Facebook? And I was like, do what works, whatever works. So here's the thing, do what works, works when it works. When it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So stop it. When email first came out and it was like this big thing, email was awesome to communicate with, right? People respond to emails in like 42 seconds. And now do you, I didn't even look at my email to see that we had a percent sale. It's like 72 spam messages, 72 Google classroom updates from my children. And then sometimes I get an actual email that's actually for me. 
but most of the time it's not, right? So I don't look at it all the time. When Facebook first came out, it was awesome. And it was such a great way to communicate with our customers. And we had like all of those groups and everything else set up and it was fabulous. It worked really, really, really well. How many of you can honestly say Facebook is working so awesome for you right now? No, because it only works when it works. And so just like the people who didn't use Facebook before had to adjust to using Facebook because that was what was working. Now the people who've relied on Facebook have to adjust to a different system of working. And because we've been in a pandemic where all, the only thing we've been relying on for contact is social media, we are desperate for actual human basis interaction. We don't want to read your status updates. We don't want to see your opinion. My goodness. Remember when we didn't know everyone's opinion? And now it's like everyone wears t-shirts that are like, these are the things I believe in. And you can't be my friend if you don't believe in these things. Right? Remember when we didn't know those things and you could actually meet someone at a party and think, oh, they're interesting and fun without having to be like, wow, I didn't know they thought that. At least give us a mystery. So now with your customers, they're looking for that too. They're looking for an opportunity to get to know you again, and they're looking for you to reach out to them. So isn't it the perfect time and a 13% off sale because it feels more like this is less about you and more about them if you're reaching out to them on that day. And what I love about this is that it's so easy to reach out when it's everything is 13% off except for a couple of things. Don't you think? And like, honestly, I would extend it all. If I were you, I would just be like 13% off everything. And here's what I think you should get. So first thing to, to maximize on this is personalized service. Personalized. Calling people, leaving them a message, texting them the message, whatever. And honestly, you can do this on Facebook too, because you can call people with Facebook Messenger. Super duper easy. You can leave voice memos with Facebook Messenger too. And it's real. At least it's people. At least they're actually, you're actually talking to them. You're actually like, hey, Marilyn, I was thinking about you. And guess what's on sale today? Not, hi, girl. Just want to let you know. Here is my copied and pasted message that you can freely ignore. Right? The other thing is, is if you do the copy and paste it, chances are you're going to get flagged by Facebook and then you're going to be shut down and nobody wants that either. Okay. Nobody responds to those things. Do you guys respond to those? Hey, I was just thinking about you. Here's my 42 page message. With all my catalog links. No, we don't read them. We ignore them. But a personalized message I'm going to listen to. I would, and I know I've said this before, I know sometimes I sound like I'm beating a dead horse. I would make a list for your customers and give her the previous total and the new total. I would be like, here's the things that I think that you're running low on or that you should get because you never got them before, but here's the deal. I'm your beauty BFF. I always say that I'm your beauty BFF. It's my job. It's my job to be, you know, like if we're in the store and you're trying on like the best leather jacket in the world and you're like, eh, I don't know. It's my job to be like, if you don't get that, I'm going to punch you in the face because you're going to wear that for the next 30 years and you'd be so sad if you don't get it. So I just say, I'm your beauty BFF and it's my job to tell you what you need. And I know you trust me because you bought from me before. So here's the deal. I don't know what your budget is, but here's the thing. If I were you and I had your face, here's what I would get. That's it. And before the sale, it's this much, but because it's Mary Kay Ash's birthday, I'm doing, not the company, I'm doing a one day only quickity tickety boo, 13% off sale on everything. So here's what it would be today. Tomorrow, it's not going to be this price. Today, it's going to be this. And then I don't say, what would you take off the list? I say, what would you add to this list? Not what would you take off? What would you add to this list? I would also do something that creates some sort of momentum with my customers, like a draw. 
for every 13 orders or every 13 items sold doing something like a draw. And awesome, Marilyn, your name's entered in the draw. Get it? Something where there's a countdown. And with your team and with yourselves, I want you to really create, I know, I know we talk about this all the time. I want you to create actual financial goals for yourself. Not just, I want a diamond ring from Mary Kay or I want the free product of the month or I want the bags. I need $200. I need $500. How many items will that be in this sale? Break it down into the number of items you would need in order to sell that much stuff and create that plan for yourself and tell everybody, be like, oh, awesome. You know what? I'm only 42 items away from my goal for today. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. I am only blah, blah, blah away. And you know what? I mean, okay. People don't really want to care if you're buying groceries or gas with this extra money. I mean, really, we're all buying groceries and gas with our extra money, right? But you can set something that you want to buy for yourself. I don't care if it's a shirt. It can be a trip. It can be a pair of shoes. It can be something for your kids, anything, but something tangible that they know their money's going to, because studies show right now, every generation, every single one, Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z, Alpha, they, and boomers, they all want to support something that they know where the money is going. So then on that note, the other thing I would be doing is highlighting why you want to support Mary Kay, the company. Tomorrow is the perfect day to share stories about Mary Kay Ash on your social media, on your Instagram stories, on your Instagram, on your Facebook stories. Okay, it's the perfect time to be showing those things and to say, here's where your money goes. Like not only does it go to women in business all over the world who get to run their businesses from home and be at home in bad situations or times when they need to be at home and still make money, but also we donate money to the Mary Kay Ash Charitable Foundation and this is where that money goes. And then just really being clear about that, right? Like this is where that money goes. Same with like these new, oh my goodness, these lipsticks are so cute. I mean, come on. So cute. Little clicky, clicky, clicky. So cute. So cute. Yes, I am wearing it. Okay. You can be selling these, you know, you can be doing the total and then you can be like, here's the deal though. We have these new charitable lipsticks. I think this color would look awesome on you and a dollar from every single one goes to the Mary Kay Ash Charitable Foundation to help women in domestic violence situations. You should get one for you and one for your bestie. What color would you like? One for you and one for your bestie because their hearts and it's so cute. What color would you like? Who cares if it's not part of the 13% off sale? I'm pretty sure you can afford a dollar off of these. If you don't want to, one thing I would suggest to do then is make a goal of how many of these you want to sell and then donate the same amount. Like be like, I want to donate a hundred dollars to the Mary Kay Ash Charitable Foundation. That means I need to sell a hundred of these bad boys. And when I do, I'm going to double that. I'm going to donate another hundred on my own because you guys can just add it to your statements at the end. So easy, right? So that you can add that. The other thing is Michael's is ruined percents off for everybody. They're big jerks. We hate them because the 40% off coupons make 13. Don't it doesn't sound very good. But if you were saving 13% off a $10,000 vehicle, that's a lot. When they say GST free on a vehicle, that's a lot. When you say GST free off of an under eye corrector, not so much. So which items should you focus on tomorrow? The bigger ticket ones because it's the bigger bang for their buck. And I would be focusing on the new dollar amounts, not the 13% off. So if you are featuring things on your social media, be featuring stories and testimonials, including this is the price originally, this is the price today only. If you wanna up it, do it. 
If there's a certain couple of things you want to feature, you want to have a door crasher special, go for it. You're allowed to, right? It's one of the reasons I chose Mary Kay is I don't like to be told all the time what I want to do. I like to be able to do things. Ideation is one of my top five Gallup strengths. And so I like to be creative and come up with different things that I would do. Okay. You could also do like a basket and you could do videos every hour and every item, the number of items that you sell for every 13 items, you put an item in the basket. And then you could do a draw for everybody to like, everybody gets a chance to win the whole huge thing, or you could do a draw for each item in the basket. Anybody have any of those old um, uh, uh, the, the advent calendars? If you have a few kicking around, those would be perfect. You could even just do a draw based on nothing, based on, hey, thank you for seeing my posts. Thank you for liking them. Thank you for commenting. And do draws like that. You can do things to make people excited. If you are working on social media, please be aware that one post every hour is not going to cut it. They ain't seeing it. Unless people are commenting, they are not seeing it. Change your cover photo, create an event in your Facebook group. You don't have to post in there. It just makes it so they see it. And then you can post once in a while. Excuse me, sorry. You want to be able to um, make sure that you're putting different pictures up. Change your cover photo once every like three hours. It's legit one of the only things that shows up. And ask people questions and get real customer testimonials. Do you know where you can get the best ones? MaryKay.ca. When you go there, you can click on a product and you can screen cap it even. You don't even have to copy and paste it. You can just screen cap it and see that, you know, a Holly from Ontario loves this product because it's this. These aren't people you know. So then they become these like, legit things to your customers when they can see the how many of our customers actually look at the websites and actually look at the reviews they don't right they just do what you tell them to do right how many of you have pro palettes sticking around lots of them they were on sale a while ago i got like 50. you want thingamabobs i got 20 but who cares i would be starting a palette customized for people I would be like here and put together some colors. Don't make it generic. Call up or video chat with you know Mary Lou and be like, hey, Mary Lou, you don't have a perfect palette or a pro palette. You need this. And you know what? Right now it's this much. Tomorrow it's gonna be this much. And that's how I would say it. It's this much today. Tomorrow it's gonna be this much. And I know that we're all working on a tight budget. So I know you can appreciate a great sale. And just so you know, every dollar that I earn from this business is going towards this. It's important. It's important that your customers and your team members know where that money is going. What are you doing with it? A lot of us in this chat right now are full-time Mary Kay people. And I don't think that people quite realize that we, lots of us, I am, I'm the primary breadwinner in my family. So my Mary Kay money goes to everything. My husband works at Casco. He is a musician. You know, the musician, the difference between a musician and a pizza is a pizza can feed a family of four. So like, <laughs> I'm the primary, I always have been, even when I was a teacher. And now, even with working so little compared to before because of health issues and family stuff and everything else, I'm still making more than I made teaching. And I'm at home all day, every day. And I'm here when my kid needs me all day, every day. And so if my customers know that and they know how appreciative I am, and I don't do that in just blast posts, I do that individually. I say things like, Fiona, just so you know, if it wasn't for you being my awesome customer, I wouldn't have this opportunity to be at home with my son right now, right? I wouldn't have this opportunity to be here. And I so appreciate everything you do. And this is the perfect day to be showing the gratitude that you have for Mary Cash for bringing you into this company, whether you knew her or not, because she did. She took a huge risk, a huge risk, and she made something amazing out of it. 
and her legacy is going to live on forever. And I mean, how many of us can say that? That we have created something besides our children that, you know, that's still a crapshoot, right? We don't know if they're going to change the world for better or worse some days, right? So, I mean, we have this awesome company that Mary Kay Ash created that we need to be celebrating. We have this chance to be able to inspire other people by this journey, by what we're doing. We don't just sell things like leggings or Tupperware or bed sheets. We sell people spaces. We sell the first thing that they see. And so many women could just use a little pick me up with a little lipstick, a little lip gloss. It doesn't have to be huge. And so if she says to you, I, you know what? I would really like to support you. Money is super tight right now. Be like, I get it. Not I get it, but I get it. I get it. I know for me that when money is tight, one of the things I love to do is just spend a little bit on myself just because then I feel a little bit better. It's like I get to feel a little bit pretty. And so is there something in our catalog that would make you feel a little bit pretty today that I can hook you up with? I know when money's tight for me, I know somebody's gonna ask me to repeat it. I know when money's tight for me, I just like to splurge a little bit on myself. I like to do something that makes me feel just a little bit prettier, a little bit more like I, I got this. Whether it's a bottle of wine or a pair of shoes or a lipstick, is there anything in our catalog that can make you feel just a little bit better today? And then I would follow it up with, I know you're going to feel really good because you're helping an independent woman run her own business and you're supporting this awesome company. We don't talk about our company enough. We just don't. And then we get lumped in with the rest of them. But we're not, we're not the rest of them. When Mary Kay Ash first started this company, 50% was unheard of, unheard of. Nobody did that. Men sold stuff door to door, women didn't. Women didn't do that. Women didn't go into people's houses and do home parties. We did, we are the ones who started it all. We are the ones who create that. And you know what the best thing about us is, is that we are those people's best friends. They can't ask anyone else, what eye cream should I be using? I'm getting old, what's happening? You know, you looked in the mirror today and went, oh, what do I do? They don't ask their best friends that. Do you? Do you go like, mm, something help? But they do with us. They trust us. They trust us with their faces. They trust us with their, their money. And they trust us with the stuff that we're bringing over. So you have to be super trustworthy, but you also have to be a little bit braver. And so I don't want you to just put out a sale or something. And then somebody says, I want a CC cream. And you're like, cool, 1750 or whatever it is. If they're, don't, don't do my math. That was not the right math. But don't do it like that. And then be like, okay, great. And that's it. This is the opportunity. Every order is the opportunity for a conversation. And I get it. Get yourself a good pair of headphones with a microphone. Don't drop them in the bathtub like I did. Because that's a poor choice. I didn't win rice for the whole day. Okay. But get yourself a pair of headphones and just chat. It only takes a few minutes. Most people don't have two hours to sit on the phone and gap but they sure like to know that you're thinking about them. They sure like to know what's happening. They love it when you know their kids' names. They love it when you know their dogs' names and their cats' names. And you're like, how is Muffin? I like to, when I talk to them, I love to talk to them about the first time I came over. It's always my favorite. You know, I always like to be like, do you remember when little Willow, like her daughter climbed up my skirt to feel my pantyhose while I was trying to do the party? like legit climbed all the way, all the way up. And I was like, eh, like <laughs> trying to talk, you know, and I love talking to them like that. And just, you know, remind, reminding them that it's been 10 years, 12 years, like how long it's been. And I don't care if you're brand new, that's okay. It doesn't have to be forever. You can say things like, I am so excited that in 10 years, I'm going to be able to say, remember when you bought a lipstick from me during a 13% off sale. 
I am so excited that in 10 years, I'm going to be the person that you're going to trust the most with your face. And I know you might just have to just take a little risk with me right now and try something you've never tried before, but I got good stuff. And I'll guarantee it. So you're not losing anything. Give us a go. See what you think. And that's really it, you guys. So to sum up, bomb everything. I want you posting like a thousand times. Don't worry about if people are sick of you. The people who are sick of you don't care anyway. There, this is bubbly water. It's like totally making me go like, ah, it's in my face. It's very fizzy. So every time I drink it, it's going up my nose. And I just had a whole bunch of jaw shots today. So I'm a little bit like numb. So then I can't quite tell where my mouth is, <laughs> you know, when you've had like fillings or whatever. So then I'm worried I'm just going to spill it right down my shirt as I'm trying to talk to you. And my husband always makes fun of me because the only glass I can legit drink out of without a straw is a wine glass. Otherwise, every single thing, it just like one year from my birthday, I swear six people gave me little collapsible straws to keep in my bag because all I do is spill. It's terrible. So wine glasses though, I don't spill out of. So just in case you're wondering if I'm just getting sloshed, it's fizzy water. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, the shingles still don't let me do that. All right. So, so I bomb everything contact your customers, make individual lists. You, you guys, it doesn't take that long. And if you are on a computer system like Pink Office or Boulevard, it takes very little time because you can go and see what their top most bought products are so quickly. But if not, make it up. It doesn't have to be exact. They are not going to go through all their old order forms and be like, oh, but you forgot the base two mineral powder I bought one time in 1994. They don't care. Just make it up. Don't overdig them, but add 20% to what you think they should buy. General rule of thumb, 20%. And if you can get somebody to buy $30 of the stuff, they're going to spend 50. Because in our heads, when we go to the grocery store with a $60 budget, what we really mean is 100, don't we? And if we go with a $200 budget, what we really mean is three. And at least if we spend 299, it's still 200 in our heads, because that's the way it works, right? You can give her better deals. You can do draws. You can do really fun things. What I want you to do tomorrow is like hole up somewhere, get into a room, tell your children to eat craft dinner for dinner and just blast it out because tomorrow is going to be the best day ever out of this whole month to take advantage. And when it's the end of June and you're sad because you didn't take advantage of today or tomorrow, I mean, that's what's going to happen. You'll be at the end of June and you'll be like, oh, if only. Now, if you're at the end of June, if you don't even care about your June goals because they are not happening, think about this. If you sell to somebody right now, they're going to need to refill in August or September. They're going to need new stuff when you're back in a new seminar year goal, right? They're going to recommend you to somebody new. They're going to talk to you about something. Now, this may not be kosher either, if the company is listening, whatever, but beg forgiveness later. One thing is I really like to do is post before and afters on my Facebook stories. I don't do any like calls to action, just a like, wow, you know, and I've been getting a lot of orders from that because people who don't see my group do see the stories. So think about that. Instagram stories are where it's at. Bottom line, if you're wanting to go anywhere where our demographic is, Instagram stories are where they're at. If you have never done Instagram before, that's okay. You don't have to learn tomorrow. Just put it in the back pocket and think this is 2010 and you're asking Carol Thompson how to run Facebook. And I'm asking younger people how to do the Insta and the Snapchat and whatever the hell else is coming because I don't even know. But this is the time for you to make an effort to just run like stink, set a goal before you start. Not, I want to sell some stuff. Set a goal and track the goal obsessively. Obsessively. Make it, make it still within reach, okay? If you've never sold more than 10 items in a day, do not set a 300 item goal. I know there's a few of you who I've said this to you before personally, so if you feel that, like you should take it personally, you should. Okay? 
Don't do it. All right. Set a goal. 20% more than you normally sell is a great goal. Think about it. How many items do you normally sell on a blast kind of day? Up it by 20%. You can do that. You can do that. Break it down into items. $20 is an item. Don't, don't make it hard. Okay. So whatever $20 you want to earn, that's an item. Easy peasy. Do a 13 items challenge and then do a draw. That's what I would do. For every 13 items sold, I'm going to give something away. Not what I would do. That is what I'm doing. And then because I just did a sale and I just did a lot of like a blast on the new summer product and then I didn't give a discount on the new stuff, the other stuff they added, you know, and they were like, oh, but I also need a, you know, then I'm just giving them a refund on that. But I'm just going to ask them if they want to spend that because they will. I mean, look at like scratch off tickets. You ever see somebody just take the $5? No, they get another ticket. So I'll be like, hey, you know what? Actually, Mary Lou, I owe you four bucks because it's the deal today and I didn't know there was going to be a sale. So do you want to roll that into new stuff? She'll say yes. And now you've got a sale on top of that. Okay. Any questions before I let you go? Am I right under the half an hour? I'm getting pretty good at this whole half an hour thing. No, everybody's good. You're all going to rock it out. Schedule your post tonight. Look for stories. Look for stuff. Any questions? No? Okay. I love you all. Rock it Thank up. Thank you, Carol. You're welcome. Thank Bye. you.